Hi guys, I'm Ellie and this is the Tech Tricks channel. In this tutorial, I will walk you through step by step on how to set up these dynamic dropdowns using Google App Scripts. You will learn how to create a multiple level of dependent dropdowns that adopt and update automatically as you make selection. Let's see. Alright, let's get started. First, we need to set up the data. Here's an example structure I've set up for this tutorial. In column A, I've listed the primary categories like fruits, vegetables, and animals. And we have category, subcategory, item, and sub-item. Next, let's create the drop-down. We'll start with the first drop-down for selecting the category. Select the cell where you want your first drop-down to appear. Let's say it be 2. In the menu, go to Data, then Data Validation. In the input box, type fruits, vegetables, and animals. This will create the first drop down where you can select either fruits, vegetables, or animals. Click Save. And now you have your first drop down set up. Now let's move on to the fun part creating the app script that will make other drop downs dependent on the first one. To do this, open the script editor by going to extensions and clicking on App Script. Now I type the code and then we'll explain it to you. Okay, first, let's understand the setup. We have four columns in our Google Sheets. Column B, this is where you choose a broad category, like fruits, vegetables, or animals. Column C, based on the category, this column will show a list of subcategories. For example, if you choose fruits, you will see options like citrus, berries, or tropical. Column D, based on the subcategory, this column will show specific items like orange, lemon, or grapefruit for citrus. Column E, finally, based on the selected item, this column will show a list of sub-items like Novel, Valencia, Mandarin, or Orange. Now the magic happens in the unedit function. This function runs every time a user makes an edit in the sheet. So whenever you select something in any of these columns, the script gets triggered and updates the other column accordingly. This is the first part of the script. How it works? When you make a selection in column B, category, the script reads the value. Based on the category you choose, for example fruits, it sets up the subcategory dropdown in column C to show relevant options like citrus, berries, and etc. Then it clears the item and sub-item dropdowns since this depends on the subcategory and item. Now let's look at what happens when you select something from the subcategory dropdown column C. After you select a subcategory, for example citrus, the script checks which subcategory you selected. Based on that selection, it updates the item dropdown in column D. For example, for citrus, it shows items like orange, lemon, and grapefruit. It clears the sub-item dropdown since that depends on the item selected. Now next, when you choose an item in column D, here is what happens. When you select an item, for example orange, in column D, the script reads that item. Based on your selection, the script updates the sub-item dropdown in column E with specific sub-items, for example novel, Valencia, Mandarin, or orange. So to recap, you pick a category in column B, which updates the subcategories in column C. 
Based on your subcategory choice, the item drop down in column D updates. Lastly, when you pick an item, the sub item drop down in column E updates with a specific options related to that item. Now let's test it out. I go back to my sheet and select the category in the first item. Let's choose fruits. As soon as you select fruits, the second drop down will automatically update, and when I choose any of them, the next column will update and so on. You can find the code of this tutorial in the description. Okay, my tutorial finished and you learn how to create a multiple level of dependent dropdown in Google Sheets using Google App Script. If you have any questions, ask me in the comments and I will answer all of them. For the next, I suggest you to watch this tutorial that will improve your skills in Google Sheets. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and do subscribe in case you're not subscribed yet. Thanks for watching, have a good time.